Hello everybody, it's Mr. Stacy, and if you're looking at the big picture in the middle of the screen, it's telling you that today's lesson we're going to make a school earthquake poster. Yes, this poster is for in school, okay? So uh, we're going to put some of these up in school near the science lab. So what is a school earthquake poster? Well, we had a look yesterday. Um, if we go to the um, Mr. Stacy's website, uh, Unit 4, Volcanoes and Earthquakes, if you click onto the Korean text and bring that up, um, you can see on uh, page 95 I think it is let's take a look 95 uh, it talks about earthquake safety um, in your Korean books it talks about the steps involved in earthquake safety uh, when you're in a building so what I'd like you to do today um, well you can start thinking about it today you don't have to start today um, because you might not have the color pencils or the paper with you but I want you to start thinking about your design uh, your design of your poster and how you're going to make your poster there are some rules to making um, the poster um, we're going to look at those this is also got the information. So again, if you go to Mr. Stacy's website, the links are there, and you click on Korean text translation, that'll open up and give you um, translations for the pages. Let me just reduce that. Okay, let's go. So here we are, page 76, 77, scroll down. I'm sure we can find it. Different experiments. And where are we? Somewhere here anyway earthquake safety so the Korean book gives you something a little bit different to what we're going to do okay we're going to um, consider in school whereas your book actually considers um, in a building so school safety school safety so these are the points that you need to we, we need to uh, these are the steps that you need to include in your poster okay and the steps are as all oh, the steps are as follows let's look at them step one step one drop to the ground drop to the ground step two go under your desk go under your desk step three hold your desk step three hold your desk step four put on your earthquake hat put on your earthquake hat step five follow the teacher's instructions and step six stay calm stay calm so what do those steps actually mean well, if you go over to um, in Mr. Stacy's website, you can take a look at the photos, science room photos. Uh, let's scroll up. Let's click that. And here you have um, photos um, for the earthquake unit. And inside here you can see some of the posters 
that were made uh, with the steps, with the steps. So let's take a look at some of those posters, shall we? So here we go, step one, drop to the ground. Step one, drop to the ground. Step two, go under your desk. Go under your desk. Go under your desk. Step three is over here. Hold your desk. Hold your desk. Step four, put on an earthquake hat. You all know what an earthquake hat is. It's not one of these. This isn't, this isn't an earthquake hat. Next to your, in, on, on your chair is the school earthquake hats. If you've got glasses, it can be a bit of a pain. And this is a bit small for Mr. Stacy because Mr. Stacy is a teacher. Mr. Stacy's got a hard hat. You guys have soft hats. This is to protect you from anything hitting your head. So put on, step four is put on an earthquake hat. Step five, follow your teacher's instructions. Come on. And step six, stay calm, stay calm. Okay, so that's one of the one of the earthquake posters. Let's have a look at another one. Let's look at uh, this one. Again, an earthquake poster, earthquake state safety. I like this one because they've got red arrows showing the direction of the instructions. So again, school earthquake safety. Number one, drop to the ground, drop to the ground. Number two, get under your table, get under your table. Number three, put on an earthquake hat, put on an earthquake hat. Number four, down here, follow the arrows. Hold on to your table, hold on to your table. Number five, follow your teacher's instructions. Follow your teacher's instructions. Number six, stay calm, stay calm. Okay, so that's a really good one. Look how they've used the same character all the way through. Look how they've used the clear numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, looked how they've shown things falling and that's why we're under the table. Let's take a look at another poster. This poster is the same instructions. Um, they've used a different character. School, school earthquake safety. Number one, drop to the ground. Drop to the ground. Number two, go under your desk go under your desk go under your desk number three this is really good it shows the person's hands holding the desk holding the desk leg that's number three and I like the arrows on this one too look at the big red arrows so it's easy to follow the instructions number four put on an earthquake hat put on an earthquake hat number five Follow your teacher's instructions. There's the teacher with the white hat and there's the student. I like this one because the student is in the TKS uniform. TKS uniform. And six, stay calm. Calm means not panic. Don't panic. Be relaxed as you leave the building. Let's take a look at another poster. These are all fantastic. Here, this, this poster, School Earthquake Safety. They've put the steps nice and clear. Step one, drop to the ground. Step two, go under your desk. Step three, hold your desk. Step four, put on an earthquake hat. Step five, follow your teacher's instructions. And step six, stay calm. And down here, they've got the same characters. Here they are. Step one, step two, step three, and so on. Good job with that one. So that's a different style, same character throughout. 
here this school earthquake safety they've used the earth because it's the earth that's shaking when there's an earthquake and they've put each of the steps on an island drop to the ground uh, hold your get under your desk hold your desk put on an earthquake hat follow your teacher's instructions and stay calm stay calm really good pictures here same character in all of those I like that poster let's take a look at another one here we go uh, this is a cat character they've used as the um, student so num and they've got the pause as the numbers drop to the ground go under your desk meow you can see the earthquake happening hold your desk really the cat should be underneath it I think uh, what's next number four put on your earthquake hat number five follow your teacher instructions and number six stay calm stay calm and the final one I think I'm going to show even though this one I really like this one for the colors um, it would be good if they had the arrows showing one two three four five six maybe show the arrows uh, but the colors are good and they've changed the colors this writing is red this writing is orange this writing is yellow and I like the 3D 3D letters they're cool the way they've put the 3D there good work and then one more this one's done circles clear circles one two three four five six they've got green arrows to show what you should be doing nice clear writing I think these could be a little bit bigger but it's okay this is good work so um, you've got the um, posters there to help you and if you haven't got big paper if you haven't got big paper this is a massive A3 size you can do a smaller poster or you can tape I've got my microphone there you can tape two pieces of paper together to make a, a big poster. Um, so don't be afraid to tape two pieces together or just do an A4 size. If you can get everything you need on the A4 size, um, that would be good too. Remember, you don't have to finish in this lesson. If you just want to think about this poster, this lesson, you can. Um, you'll need to get some good color crayons start your picture in uh, pencil first start your picture in pencil first so it can be A4 or A3 you can choose the size um, Start in pencil, use pencil first to get your idea and then when you, once you've done your pencil design, check the spelling. How do you check the spelling? Well, you can find the spelling uh, here. It's here in the link. This is the spelling here. These are the spellings you need, okay? make sure they are correct uh, when you're doing this okay and then let's, uh, da, da. that's step one actually So those are your steps. OK. 
okay so check your spelling don't know if this is going to work Okay, so check your spelling on these and then uh, check your designs in pencil and then you're ready to color and you can use pencil crayon you can use pens uh, you can use Copic if you have Copic colors do some nice shading Try and do some 3D lettering if you can. Uh, don't forget your title. School Earthquake Poster. School Earthquake Poster, okay? And as I said, next week we only have one science lesson. So maybe I'll just be sharing some of the posters next week. And then we've got uh, a long weekend. So... Um, if you don't finish it this week you've got a bit of time next week to do a good job and then we'll share we'll have a sharing video um, for them next week okay and I think that's everything I think that's everything um, covered you can find the, the information here and you can also go to the photographs here to check out the posters I'll put a couple of these on the quiz and that's it do your best and I look forward to seeing these and remember uh, this is in the in the Korean text it's page 95 page 95 okay that's it for now thank you for listening to my video go and start thinking about your poster design uh, you don't have to copy these designs you can make your own design don't feel like you have to copy you can choose your own design and your own character um, to go with your poster I look forward to seeing all your different designs bye bye have a good lesson and I'll speak to you soon bye bye